thanks to all of you for being here, and I'm also very pleased to be with some of my brothers in ministry, Pastor Hicks and also Pastor Varier. Thank you for your ministry and the opportunity to work with you as we work together on this pro-life issue. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. God is for life. All the time. And all the time. God is for life. Now let's do that a little bit louder so that the people on Claven Avenue can hear us, right? Amen. Okay, can we say amen to that? Amen. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. God is for life. All the time. And all the time. God is for life. Yes, God is for life, my sisters and brothers, and that's why we're here tonight, because you and I believe with every fiber of our being that God gives life and He is for life. And sometimes, my sisters and brothers, we have to go back and remember that powerful scene from the book of Genesis, as God creates the sky and the earth, and He says, He says it is good. God creates the sky and the earth, and He says, It is good. And so, if anyone asks us, Why do y'all get so uptight and so excited about that? Let us remind them of that powerful creation story. God breathed life into us in the womb, and we must always protect that life, not only in the womb, but to the end of natural death, and anywhere in between, to the poor, to the immigrant, to anyone who is suffering, to those who are hungry, to those on death row, but it all begins in the womb. And if we don't have respect for life in the womb, we're not going to have respect for life outside of the womb. Does the church say amen to that? Amen. You know, sometimes my sisters and brothers, people say we belong to the pro-choice movement. I ask this question to those who say that, do we have a choice? Do we really have a choice? We might have free will, but do we really have a choice? If God has given us life, and if we believe that life is sacred, and if we believe that God is for life, we don't have a choice but to respect life from the very beginning of conception to natural death. We must remember, my sisters and brothers, and we must say loudly by our lives and by our charity, and by our very civil conversations with those who oppose us, we must remind all people that we are not God. And that we have no right to take life. Only God can give life, and only God has the right to take life away. Do you agree with that? Yes. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. And God is for life. All the time. And all the time. God is alive. You know, isn't it an incredible contradiction in our own government that abortion has been made legal? And yet when a pregnant woman is killed with a child, it's a double homicide. Whatever can be a greater contradiction in our own day? And then when we look at Planned Parenthood, just look at those words, my sisters and brothers. Parenthood means having a child, loving that child, breathing life into that child, not only in the womb but beyond, and to plan parenthood, to look forward to parenthood and to plan it is, we would say, if one didn't know what Planned Parenthood stood for, you would say, that's good. But Planned Parenthood, as we know, means, for many people, abortion. And although Planned Parenthood can say, and some of the services that they offer can be helpful, but let me tell you, any of these services that they offer that are helpful are offered by others. And very often they're offered free by other people. And they're offered by our various churches free and with kindness and charity and love. And what happens in Planned Parenthood, people come in and they become convinced, they become trapped into that self-justification in having an abortion. And so my concern is that you and I must be a light and we must be a voice because I cannot believe 
that since it's been announced that Planned Parenthood is coming here, oh, it may look more respectful. It is not. It is violence against human nature. It is violence against that child, and we must speak. You know, sometimes people say about us that we don't respect women, and so we take away their rights. No, my sisters and brothers, it's because we respect women that we want them to be able to respect their bodies and the life that is within their bodies. And so tonight, as we light our candles, as we light our candles, we are well aware, my friends, that we must not only hold these lights, we must be a bright light to others. We must speak about life in the womb. We must speak about life outside of the womb. And we know that we want to do our very best, and we will with governments and people and influences, we'll do our best to make sure that Planned Parenthood facilities are not built. Amen. Amen. We'll do our best to make sure that Planned Parenthood facilities are not built. Amen. And when they are, we have more work to do. Amen. We have more work to do because we must reach out to those women who go there, to those others who are influenced by what is called Planned Parenthood. And so, my sisters and brothers, we must be a light, not just holding the light, but we must be a light in the darkness of this world that justifies, that justifies abortion. We must be a light that says, no, let's tell the truth. Let's tell the truth about God and about life. But let us pray for those who do not respect human life. Let us also pray for those who are in various businesses and industries who by their very actions support Planned Parenthood, that they will come to realize that they are, in fact, contributing to abortion and to our lack of respect for human life. So let our prayers go beyond ourselves to others. And let us pause to remember, right this moment and on this holy ground, we are in God's presence. Loving and faithful God, we gather tonight because we believe with all of our hearts and all of our souls that you have created us in the womb and you have given us life. We thank you for breathing your spirit of life into us even before we knew this world and were born. And Lord God, we come here tonight because we pray for those innocent babies, those innocent children in the womb whose life is threatened, some of whom their life is taken away. We pray for them 